Okay guys, so I'm going to take a break for a minute to show you how to fillet a porgy fish. That's how you cut the meat of the fish off the bone. Okay? Alright, and then we're going to fry it in the deep fryer. Let's do that. Another thing under your belt. You know, a lot of times when you go to the store, it's a lot cheaper if you buy the fish as is versus uh, already filleted. The price almost doubles. Okay? So it's something that you might want to do if you uh, have the opportunity. So let's give it a try. Thumbs up if you like it. Share the video. Subscribe. Check out my links below if you'd like to support this girl in any way. Let's do it. I think I want to give you the word of the day right now. How about that? Okay, so the word of the day is peace. Try to get some peace of mind. Try to get some peace in understanding others. Try to get some peace when you chastise the kids. When I say that, I mean try to do it calmly. Don't raise your blood pressure, you know. Try to deliver your message in a calm, peaceful way. And when you do that, people will respond the same way. If you respond to somebody in a rage, they get in a rage. So remember, peace. Okay, that's the word of the day. Okay, guys. This is our porgy fish. You need a very sharp knife to start with, okay? So I'm going to be using this knife. And what you want to do is you want to come right down this back, straight down there, okay? All right, you notice the head is off. I had them to take the head off at the store. If your head is not off, you can just cut it off, okay? All right, so I'm going to just guide along the bone. You want to be able to feel that bone because that's your guide. And you're going to keep going along the bone like the knife is pushing down on the bone because the bone is my guide and you just keep going and keep going I can feel the knife rubbing against that bone when you get to this tail end you want to just cut across here so you can get to the other side okay and we're breaking up. See, we're getting through. Right along that bone. Okay, now we want to come over here and cut a line on this side. And go along, feeling the bone. Cut through. See? We're almost there. You see that? I'm cutting right down on that bone. So I'm getting the just a fish part and not the bone. There we go, guys. So that's one, right? Now we got to do the other side. Same process. You're going to cut right down this back side, cutting in. As you cut in, you can feel that bone. Keep just cutting along that bone. Cut across this tail so that can get loose. And you're going to just keep cutting in, little by little, resting the knife 
along the bone. Sometimes you have to put a little pressure. Keep just coming through along that bone. That's your guide. Now we're going to come over here and cut on the edge so that we can break through. Okay, now some people leave this part here on. I don't. Okay, that's our second half. Now you see how quickly we was able to do that? Now are you going to have some bone here? Yes, because this is fish. So you have to expect that. So if you can see them and pull them, pull them. If you can't, you'll get that out as you eat. Okay, I'm going to get mine out as I eat. The knife is sharp. Okay. Now, you can see that it's meat all here, right? So you can fry this as well and then you can eat by picking around the bone so I'm going to fry that to show you or you can not fry it and throw it out it's up to you okay so I have a plate here We're going to season our fish. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so I want to get our fire. I'm not a fire, a deep fryer turned on so that can start heating up, okay? Alright, so I'm going to use some Lowry seasoning salt. Some black pepper. some garlic. As soon as I could find the garlic. Black pepper, onion, where's my garlic? Hello. Here it is. Granulated garlic. Now I'm going to turn it over and do the same seasoning. Garlic. Black pepper. Lowry seasoning. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now let me get my cornmeal out. One second. Okay. So I use two types of cornmeal. This is uh, fine yellow cornmeal. So I'm going to pour some of that in this plastic bag. Okay. And the other one I use is a coarse yellow cornmeal. Sorry about that. Okay, and mix them together. Bread it nice on both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in. Make sure the corn meal is nice on both sides, like really on there. That's why you see, maybe you can't see. Uh, me pushing down so that the cornmeal sticks to the fish. Okay, and now let's do the bone. wipe that up. Okay, I'm going to give that two minutes and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, we're going to take the fish out. It doesn't take fish long to cook in a deep fryer. We're talking uh, less than five minutes for sure. I'm going to wipe that. There's the first piece.
Okay. Okay, so I'm going to fry uh, the pieces in there and, and I'll bring you back when I put the bone in, okay? Thank you. Okay, so I dropped the bone in, our last piece. Just let that fry some. Okay, let's make some tartar sauce. Let me make sure I put this down so you can see. Okay, so tartar sauce, you're going to use mayonnaise, I got one, two heaping teaspoons of mayonnaise, or however much you need for what you're cooking for. Relish. Got a heaping teaspoon of relish. Okay, now we're gonna need a drop, a drop of mustard. One drop. One, that's it. Okay, see how that's looking? So now we're just going to mix it up. If you see more relish than mayonnaise, then you need to add relish. If you see vice versa, whatever you need to, whatever you see, you should add. So in my case, I have a lot of mayonnaise and I don't see a lot of relish. Okay? So I'm going to add another half a teaspoon of relish. drop that. Okay, I got about a half a teaspoon. Ah, now I'm seeing some relish. Okay, and now we get tartar sauce. How about that? Okay, we're going to take our last piece out. Okay, let me plate up for you. Okay, guys. Fried porgy fish with french fries. I fried the french fries before I fried the fish off camber. Okay? And our tartar sauce. So now you know how to make tartar sauce. You know how to fillet a fish. And you can now fry it. How about that, huh? Let me take a taste. to point out one more thing so you see I fried the uh, the bone part that you would normally throw out this is really a lot of meat on there if you are the type that you don't mind picking through the bone okay and if you do mind don't fry that just fry the the fish that you fillet okay just wanted to point that out. It's, it's worth taking a look at if you're okay with that. Alright, I'm going to taste. 